What's going on guys? This is DRock over at OneHive 2.0 slash Invicto with another 2.0 war recap. Uh, OneHive came out very strong this war, um, had some very nice attacks. Um, Clash of Holots was not a uh, 3 star army clan, so it wasn't that much of a competition, but we did bring the heat, so I'll show you four attacks that I were, wanted to highlight. Um, First one is by Beast on number 6, and he comes with a Shattered Lalo. So he comes in from the top right with a Golem. Golem at 3 o'clock as well creates that funnel. Um, I like the idea of the loons up top, but because of the update, now one loon crash and a balloon is not going to take out an archer tower. So he still has that Golem. Now that Golem's going up north and taking that out, and one golem is pretty much now to the to the hounds. Um, those that dragon and the Valkyrie will end up coming back down here and taking on the royals as well. Uh, Queen took out one air defense at this point, so very nice there. Um, once that mortar goes down, the queen's going to lock on the Valkyrie, and then the dragon. The dragon's going to do some work to the king, but once he rages up here. That king is going to go down, and the queen, being a beastly 40 level, she is going to have no problem there. At this point, he realizes, oh, I'm not going to have enough of the queen to go take that inferno out. So he starts with his Lalo portion of the raid. Very smartly, actually. So here comes the hounds, and the reason why that was smart is because he was able to keep his queen for cleanup at the end of this raid. So she's going to be alive the entire time. And this freeze, whether that was planned or not, very nicely done. Um, saved his loons and saved some of his hound life so that he had those for the remainder of the raid. As those loons come across, he rages up the other section that he dropped at the 6 o'clock region. And now the Inferno and all those defenses are going to go down. Look how many loons he has left. Very nicely, pa uh, very nicely passed and um, very nicely done overall. So the only thing left on this base is that expo to worry about the Tesla and the Wizard Tower. Last Hound pops. Those last loons are going to uh, go over, take out the air defense, and he still has one loon left in the bag, and he smartly places it on that Tesla because that is the only thing that can harm him now. And with that tanking for it, it's going to be all over. Uh, so once that Tesla goes down, it is done. The Queen's still working. He has plenty of pups around the outside. So it is just clean up. Very nice attack, Beast. Keep it up, buddy. Next attack, we have Andrew on 11. And this attack was a Shattered Goho. So kind of an interesting base, not a form base, so at least something to show. And the thing I really liked about this attack was the funnel. So there's a lot of trash around the 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock region of this base, but he is very patient and very smart with his golem coverage and his wizard coverage. Um, wall breakers go in, breaks open that compartment as his golems move in. He places a very nice jump spell right over those four compartments, so that's going to open up everything. Um, and as the king, very nice uh, and patient on his king as well. So those that CC is going to target the golems and not him. So those Vox will do a little bit of work on the golems, but as he goes in, now he's going to rage up his king and take out that queen, no problem. So now it is time for the hog portion. As he comes in with a two-finger drop from the top, he heals over that first section. Very nice on that. As they start working through, he is going to drop seven more hogs on the two to three o'clock region. And the reason for those is to keep the pathing in the middle of the base. He doesn't want the hogs to go all over the place, he wants to keep it in one group. So because of those seven hogs, he was able to continue on through the entire base with one, pretty much one solid group of hogs. They did split a little bit, but at the point they did, the base was already crippled, and it is already clean up. So very nice uh, attack, Andrew. Really liked it, really enjoyed watching it, so keep it up. Alright, next one is my favorite tack of war and that is from Dingus on 13 with a <clears throat> excuse me with a cold-blooded Lalo 
you don't see these very often they're very base specific but when you do see them done correctly they are impressive so he has a max golem out of the CC which is always nice to bring on these cold-blooded attacks so there's a little bit more tanking than a normal um, than a normal golem would a level 4 golem because he only has one so wants to make sure you can get as much tanking as possible. That golem starts moving in. The funnel's already created, so he's going to drop his king right now. That's going to target on the wizard tower, and then it's going to move in to the queen already. The king's going to be raged up here. The queen's already down, so all he has to worry about now is that air defense, which goes down right now, and then the poisoned loons, which will do a number on his golem, but the queen is going to sit back there and take it out. Um, doesn't waste any time already with the law low portion. Hounds, two hounds from different angles. Two more hounds on the top right with different angles soaking up those traps. Then he's going to rage both of these sections so that he pushes the loons through. And the part that I like so much about this rage is watch how they, all these loons meet up. And as that, those hounds go down to the final air defense, he wants to make sure his loons are not that far behind. So he rages the core. Expos, Teslas, all being taken out. So very nice job on that. Those Teslas stand no chance. And he even held some uh, balloons for the backside. So overall, very nice plan and very nice attack. He even had a hound that didn't bust. But at this point, he even had a loon for cleanup. So it didn't matter. It is all over but the crying. And it is a three star for the good guys. Keep it up, buddy. Alright, last attack is fan favorite. It is a Go Va Ho. So, Cash does a very nice job here on 20. Notice how big that core section is. Pretty much covers, you know, 60 to 65% of the base. So, very nice. Um, he comes in with a shattered approach, Golem out of the CC with one of his own, creates that funnel nice and wide so his Valks have nowhere to go but inside. The one thing I would change on this attack though is this jump spell right here because, you know, you could have saved, you know, a spell and brought a couple wall breakers and it would have done the same exact thing but a spell is very valuable so personally that's what I would have used but I'm just nitpicking here. Uh, poison goes down for the CC that drag is going to soften up and slow down a little bit um, once the queen's phased up she's going to take him out no problem as you can see the core is already ruined and there are four bombs that triggered so now he's going to start with his his uh, his hogs and it's really just a two finger drop he wants them in all in one group and it's gonna arc around the top of this defense so he still has one heal for them um, so as you can see that spell not having that really didn't matter because of how awful this base was um, so yeah at this point the base is already crippled and once those hogs get out of that heal the only thing left is that Tesla and there's enough tanking and enough going on and enough hogs where it doesn't matter. So it is all clean up. Saved an extra wizard for the 3 o'clock range. So very nice on that. And it is just clean. And boom goes the dynamite. Alright. Very nice, and that is going to conclude this episode of the War Recap for 2.0. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, until next time, this is D-Rock. Cheers, guys.